guys bb mira here welcome back to my channel today we are going to be talking about transitioning to natural hair and i'm going to show you guys what i do to improve my natural hair growth so stay tuned So guys, let's have a little chat about transitioning to natural hair. So, um, I've been trying to big chop my hair, but then I get scared like, if I take down all my hair, like, I don't know what I will look like, really, seriously. So, I felt I was going to transition my hair, and then when it gets to a point and I, that I feel comfortable with, then I will do the big chop or cut down my hair as well just to be satisfied so so there are some people that actually want to transition to natural hair but they are scared and they don't want to big chop their hair because they don't know what they will look like after big chopping their hair so guys you're welcome to my page because from today i have decided to transition my hair to natural hair so you can join me in this transitioning journey so first thing uh first thing what i do every week to improve the growth of my hair is using this lovely plant which is known as known as aloe vera plant um i'll just show you guys the procedure but it goes like this like i apply the aloe vera plant in my hair and i cover it with my hair bonnet and after a few hours Sometimes if I do it at night, I'll probably sleep with it till the next day and after a few hours, I use um, my shampoo and conditioner and then after that, dry my hair a bit, use the normal and original shea butter and then braid down my hair and that is it. Natural, the aloe vera will help and improve your hair growth, keep your hair moisturized and then that's it so guys stay tuned and let me show you guys the process yeah this is basically what the aloe vera plants looks like so um i will chop off yeah yeah and then i'm see i'm seeing the rhythms of life and that's it so i'm going to apply the aloe vera gel on my scalp watch me while i do that so first first thing first i will partition my hair into two and then I will hold one side of my hair with this band so that I can easily apply the other side of my hair then I will come back to this so I will partition these two into tiny fractions basically there's no need using the comb I can just easily do that with my fingers and all so Basically, this is what the gel looks like. 
feels good to play with this right so guys i will apply them on my scalp oh to a sleep i got a sheet on the floor for me i like in turkey no more it's a red wish guys this is what it looks like after applying the aloe vera gel on my scalp so what i have to do is to gently massage massage my hair gently Still massaging slowly and easy, as in be easy while massaging, don't scratch your scalp and all. So, when I'm done massaging, the next thing is to cover my hair with the shower cap first. make sure everything is covered and then i use my hair bonnet well um it's necessary to use the hair bonnet if you want to sleep with it but um if you want to carry it for a few hours uh, you can as well use just a shower cap so i'm going to stay this way for the next one hour Catch you guys after an hour. So guys, it's past one hour now. So I have to remove all this. It's time to wash it off. So um, so I'm going to use this product, um, Trism Keratin Smooth with Marula Oil actually you can google it out but this marula oil promotes hair growth and helps the health the hair follicles not to get tiny and die off so this marula oil is actually this marula oil is actually nice so i'm going to be using this product as as in this shampoo and then the same product conditioner so guys, I'm off to the bathroom to wash the off. Yeah, yeah. I'm done washing my hair and basically I just wiped it with a towel and it's not wet, it's not dry, like it's damp. So the next thing I'll do is to use this natural shea butter. I don't want no chemical, so I'm not using the shea butter that it's combined with any other chemical so this is local natural 
natural chemical so if you're in nigeria and you know where to get just a natural shea butter right? so this is i will ap apply this on mask on my hair and my scalp and then i will allow my hair dry and i'll braid it down so this is what i'll do just basically apply the shea butter I'm not going to subdue my hair on that heat again. No more heat damage. So guys, basically, this is what it is. When my hair dries, I'm just going to braid it down. And that's all for a week. So guys, I do this every week. Like once in a week. So you can join me on this transitioning hair journey. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video helped you a lot. Please, if you love this video, give it a big thumbs up and comment down below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. See you guys next week. Yeah, thank you for watching. See you guys next week. Bye.